Good morning, good morning, guys. What's going on? It is your favorite mortgage lender of Dell Kuatmi, Paramount Residential Mortgage Group of my team, the Mortgage Pugs. Happy Tuesday. What we're going to go cover today is in regards to what are five different reasons why I feel like the housing market is nowhere near being returned back to a normal market. Okay, so a lot of different things that we're going to cover today. Five different metrics that I believe are super, super important when we think of the normal housing market, which is far from where we're at today. So what is the different things that we're going to cover? So there's a lot of different headlines out there that claim that we're actually reverting back to a normal real estate market. Part of it is true. Part of it requires a little bit more scrutiny. So what indicates that we're returning to a housing market in regards to the pre-pandemic numbers that we saw in 2015 to 2019? In reality, a lot of different factors that you're going to say, and you'll be the judge of whether that's happening or not. The market currently right now is extremely vibrant as demand is still strong when the housing supply is slowly returning. Yes, you guys heard me. Housing supply is actually slowly returning back to what we were slowly starting to see. Nowhere near in regards to the numbers, but I have been seeing a little bit more of a stability and a part of it comes from a little bit of inflation, a little bit of interest rates slowly teetering. They're still at hysteric lows, but then we also start seeing a little bit of a buyer's demand slowly start decreasing just a slight little bit, mainly because one of the main reasons our kids are back in school, systems are starting to be back in place, a little bit less more mandates in regards to the coronavirus, employees are starting to return back to work and so on and so forth. So the key word that I think of is what do we think of when we think of normal? And the key definition that I actually got from the dictionary actually states that normal means it's conforming to a type standard or regular categorized pattern, something that we are essentially used to, something that's usual, typical, or routine. I'm going to discuss with you five different housing metrics, and then you tell me what you guys think if we're actually back to a normal real estate market, or if we're slowly teetering where things are a little bit more abnormal. And the first thing and probably one of the most predominant things when we think of mortgages in the real estate market is your mortgage interest rate. Okay, if we look at a 30 year chronological order from Freddie Mac, we can take a look at the average rates and I'm going to read them to you guys. And as always, as I always tell you guys, I always have my PowerPoint in front of me every single week when I am doing these presentations. If you are interested in them, please feel free to direct message me whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, or whatever platform you're going to be watching this later, and I'll be more than happy to share it with you guys. So going back to it. So in 1970s, the average interest rate was actually close to 8.86. In 1980s, it was almost 12.7%. 1990s was about 8.12%. 2000s was about 6.29%. 2010s, right after a little bit of the crash, we're at um, 4.09%. And right now, today's average monthly mortgage rate stands at about 2.875%. A lot of different factors that come into your interest rates, which is your down payment, your credit score, your home type, how you're going to be living in the home, if it's owner-occupied, if you're going to be purchasing or if you're going to be refinancing. From refinancing, are you just doing a rate in term to drop your rate? Are you taking out cash? A lot of different factors. But overall, the average norm for an interest rate for a consumer with good credit you're looking at about a 2.875%, which again is super, super low. I just discussed them at 8%, 12%, again, 8.2, uh, 8.12%, 6%, 4%, we're at 2.875%. So you can definitely see that interest rates are super, super low, which is probably one of the major, major factors or definitely is one of the major factors that is prompting a very, very high demand with consumers despite the low supply. And getting into that, Home price appreciations, most of us have heard home values are extremely high. They are appraising at extremely high levels. So according to Black Knight, which is a housing data and analytics company, the average annual appreciation for a residential real estate market since 1995 was actually at about 4.14%, okay? Which is not too bad. It was appreciating at least every single year, at least 4%. Recently, according to the National Association of Realtors, Home price appreciation actually skyrocketed to close to 14% this year. So think about that. Before it was at 4%, now home value appreciated, rightfully so, with inflation and a very low supply at 14%. And that's one of the key things I wanted to make sure we clarify. 
Home values have appreciating, and again, rightfully so, we're not dealing what we went through 15 years ago when we went through the crash. There was not an oversupply of home and a very low demand. Now, the case right now is there's a very, very low supply of homes, although it is starting to teether back to the norm where a lot more homes are coming on the market, and then you're also starting to see the fluctuation with interest rates starting to balance out. So again, home value appreciations in the 1990s and 2000s, appreciation on average per year was about 4.1%. Currently, right now, this year, based on Black Knight, as I mentioned, which is the housing analytics data, a great reputable company, is actually saying that they're close to 14.1%. Huge difference. Again, currently home price appreciation is anything but typical, usual, or routine. A lot of different factors that come into play with it. That's a major point that I wanted to discuss with us for our second topic. The third one, as I mostly mentioned, is again the supply of inventory. The only right now currently within this market, I've said it in my numerous videos before, there's actually only a 2.6 monthly supply of inventory within the market. So again, on average, historically, there was generally a six month supply of home that is associated with moderate price appreciations. What does that tell us? It's just like what I said before when I was comparing home price appreciations. That tells us that there's a very, very high high demand for homes and a very slow leader, uh, uh, demand for home, which is causing this little home price appreciation market as well. The next thing is the days to sell. It's still very competitive. The days on the uh, market metric actually tells us it's still such a very, very hot market. In 2019, prior to the pandemic, it actually stood at about 35 days. So it took about 35 days for a home to sold pre-pandemic numbers. So just about a month and change is what it took. Today, that number was actually cut in half, according to the National Association of Realtors, to about 17 days. Big, big difference, right? We're talking about that much quicker. And honestly, in some instances, probably even sooner. House pops on the market within seconds or minutes, it's hitting the MLS, and then clients are being shown the homes the day of, if not the day after, depending on how the listing agent has the showings. That, again, is another reason why I think that's a very important metrics that we need to look at that shows that it's anything but a usual and typical housing uh, market that we're in. Uh, the next topic that I wanted to go over is the number of offers per listing. Again, competitiveness on the market. According to the National Association of Realtors, again, based on their statistics, the number of offers per listing in 2019 actually was approximately 2.2 offers. So just over two offers at a minimum were uh, listing agents receiving per homes. Today, the number actually doubled where you're receiving close to 4.5 offers per home. And honestly, in some instances, some of my clients are competing with over 15, 20 offers. The market has slowly, again, in regards to that very high demand, slowly took a little bit of an e-break recently, right? With kids back in school, rates are slowly, slowly teetering a little higher than where they were at earlier, about six months ago. But again, the number of offers that shows us in 2019, you had an average of about 2.2%. Uh, I'm sorry, 2.2 offers per home. Right now, you're looking at an average of about 4.5%, which shows a very, very big difference in the number of offers that are currently being seen. So what did we just discuss? Five different metrics that I want us to keep in mind when we are thinking about getting into the market and we're thinking about whether we're getting back to the normal market. The bottom line, the first point that we discussed was in regards to mortgage interest rates. They are still near historic lows. We saw them from the last five decades. We were taking a look at interest rates as high as 12%. Twice in the decades, they're at 8%, 6%, 4%. And right now, the average, as we discussed, you were looking at about 2.875%, which is still super, super low. Again, interest rates are depending on your credit, your down payment, your home type, and how you are going to be living in the home if it's owner-occupied or investment plays a role. Then you had home appreciation. Once again, is that historic highs? We took a look at what appreciation was previous to the pandemic. You're looking at a lot less than what it is right now. Right now, currently, we're at about 14% home price appreciation from year over year, as opposed to the average norm, again, we're talking about a normal market, was about 4%. The third topic that I wanted to discuss is in regards to housing inventory. There's actually less than half the normal amount. Generally, in a regular housing market, normal market, we have a six month housing supply. Currently, with the market that we're in, we're looking at about a 2.6 to three month housing supply, 
which shows the competitiveness in regards to the market. The fourth item is the time it takes to sell a home. Again, on average previously, as I mentioned earlier, it took about 35 days in regards to a home getting sold. Currently, they sliced it in half with the competitiveness of the market, and you're looking at about 17 days as quickly as the home can qualify. And then the next is there's about twice as many offers on a home. As I mentioned a few minutes ago, average, you used to get about 2.2 offers for a listing agent per home. Right now, you're looking at about 4.4 offers. And honestly, as I mentioned earlier, some of my loan officers were competing with about 15, 20, 30 different offers, depending on the commodity of the home and so on and so forth. So you guys tell me, very hard to say that we're in a normal market, but again, a lot of different factors that we need to keep an eye out and take a look at when we're currently discussing the market. As always, if you guys have any questions, feel free to contact my team and I directly. Direct message us. We're always on the lookout for your messages and look forward to assisting you or your clients with any of your residential mortgage needs. Thanks, guys, and I'll catch you guys next week. Have a great day.